Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone who is watching my video. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to my co-inventors, Ms. Sumaya binti Mashori, secondly, Muhammad Muaz Aiman bin Zahazu Nizam, and lastly, Kalai Amutan Anak Lelaki Siva Sarmugam, because they have helped me a lot from the beginning of the process until the completion of this project. My name is Ama Aizat, and in this video, I will demonstrate my project which is titled Agricultural Pesticide Spraying Robot System. So in the agriculture sector, manual pest control conducted periodically requires a lot of manpower and may result in an ineffective and uneven coating of pesticide, requiring more significant quantities of pesticides. At the same time, spraying pesticide is a hazardous procedure for farmers and several precautions should be considered such as wearing appropriate clothing, gloves and masks. So to overcome the situations, the Agricultural Pesticide Spraying Robot System FASR system prototype has been developed to be applied to the chili farm comprises a rover equipped with ultrasonic sensors used to detect each chili plant as it travels between them. This idea proposes a pesticide spraying method to help farmers in chili plantations. So here is the overall design of the APSR system. The robot has been developed including control mode, movement system, spraying system and sensor integration. As we can see, the robot hardware comprises uh, several major components which are two ultrasonic sensors for automatic detection of chili plant and the water pump to transport the pesticide from the water tank to the spraying nozzle. The dimensions of the APSR system are 24 cm because the row size for the chili farm is approximately about 100 cm. The height is determined to be 65 cm and it is suitable for chili plants that are aged around 2 months. This APSR system can transport up to 1.5 liters of liquid pesticide. Although the tank is heavy, it can still support all of its components including a battery, electronics component, a water pump and solenoid valves. The ultrasonic sensor is placed left and right side at a specific angle to detect plants while the robot moves. The navigation system for the APSR system consists of two modes which are automatic mode and remote manual mode. Firstly, let's go to the automatic mode. If the robot is in automatic mode, the robot will automatically move forward. Then, the two ultrasonic sensors will be ready to detect plants along the way. If one or both of the sensor sense plants, the spraying operation would continue to spray according to the condition that has been programmed in the system. Three situations are used in automatic mode for spraying operations. Number one, spray on both sides. Number two, spray on the left side only. And number three, spray on the right side only. When the spraying operation has been done, the robot continues moving forward and continues to look for the next plant. For the remote manual mode, robot movements and spraying process are controlled using a blink application in a mobile phone which is the robot will act according to which button is pressed. So here are the videos showing how the robot works when in automatic mode and in remote manual mode.
based on the test result the APSR system can operate according to spraying criteria in a chili farm the optimal duration of spray according to the graph was 3 seconds this occurred because the robot's spray had adequate time to coat all leaves the upper and the lower portion of the chili plants with enough pesticide and also avoid excessive supply three tests are conducted to determine the average time taken for three seconds as can be seen the time required to complete two rows is about nine seconds the robot can spray pesticides on 50 plants for a full tank in automatic mode and the robot can spray pesticides on 25 plants per minute this led to the robot covering 125 plants in 5 minutes here is a comparison of a product currently available on the market with the product is chosen based on some similarities in terms of the project's features as can be seen the market price for the product is far higher than the APSR system despite their identical applications. The main difference is that the drone operates in the air, meanwhile the APSR system operates on the ground. In terms of structure, while both of these products use steel materials for the product frames, the APSR system has a significantly lesser possibility of damaged products due to the drone's unexpected inability to function while in the air which can cause the drone to crash and the product to break. This project has the potential to be marketed and commercialized in the agriculture sector, specifically chili farms. Farmers can boost their chili production by utilizing this product. Farmers seeking to maximize the benefits of modern technology will discover that the APSR system is the most effective technique of ensuring their plants receive optimum care. Innovations made in this project include the APSR system is a portable design and easy to relocate. The APSR system also has dual control modes which are automatic mode and remote manual mode using the Blink application so user can choose according to their wishes. 3 seconds of spraying is required for each chili plant using automatic mode and was found to be sufficient time to cover the entire chili plant. For the technology readiness level, the APSR system can be categorized as technology validated in a relevant environment which is TRL5. For the environmental impact, automatic pesticide sprayer able to prevent an individual from applying pesticide directly to the chili farm. Farmers can effortlessly use this intelligent robot. It also reduces the risk of pesticide-related illness and preserve farmers' health. The APSR system is very beneficial in terms of consistency. The automatic mode enables constant pesticide spraying on each chili plant. The APSR system is designed to assist farmers in spraying pesticide from a distance without coming into contact with them directly. Using remote manual mode, users can remotely control the entire robot's functions. The APSR system is capable of minimizing pesticide waste. It helps reduce pesticide consumption by setting the optimal spray duration to have adequate time to coat all leaves and avoid excessive supply. The APSR system also reduces manpower requirements in comparison to the conventional method. As a result, the labor expenses of a human worker for pesticide, pesticide spraying can be completely removed. So in conclusion, it is a powerful and efficient robot that can travel autonomously without human involvement and can also be easily navigated and controlled in a remote manual mode. 
tests show that it can operate as needed in real world situations. This robot helps farmers spray pesticide from a safe distance without direct contact with it. So that's all for me. Thank you very much for spending time on my presentation. Assalamualaikum.